Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, we're going to be talking about modular ships. Now, with the introduction of the merge block, it really allows us to do a lot with connecting different parts of ships, and so far, people have used it to make attachments for the ships, and so on, but I was thinking, why not just make a whole ship out of modules? I personally have spent hours on hours perfecting smaller ships or even larger ships making them all smooth and run into each other but if you want a ship that is purely functional and will get the job done this is probably what you're looking at a modular ship a ship that's constructed from different components maybe such as a cockpit followed by an engine bay followed by a reactor tunnel and then maybe just cargo compartments and you've got a really efficient ship that you can knock out really fast. So if you're going to build a really large fleet, modular ships might be the way to go because you can have a number of players working on different modules and then you can simply connect the modules together and off you go, you've got a large ship. And if you ever get bored of a ship, you can just disconnect and play around with it until you get a new one. So this is what I've been working on today. I've yet to find a name for it, but we've made it out of many different modules. So we've got a cockpit module there at the front followed by uh, observation modules, so that's basically just an area where people or crew members can actually observe the area around them. This is just a cargo ship. We've got cargo modules, so different sorts of cargo modules. Then we've got these engine modules, these little forward facing ones, and then we've got engine bay modules that are a much larger one with much larger power. And that is pretty much it. So I'm just gonna show you the individual components over here. So I've done variations of different different little modules and I thought it'd be really interesting to just to see what I could build with just parts like this because it, it's, it's so exciting just to you grab a lot of little parts like this and you just stick them together and off you go you've got a massive big ship and I've, I've been using these little rotation craft here just to rotate the blocks around and then click them in place at different places and we'll just take a look inside shall we so we'll enter from up here on this deck so these are the little connection bays, so you could add on another piece here, say it wasn't performing very well, maybe the engines were a bit low, and we've entered one of the cargo compartments, so we've got a way down to the lower deck, but let's go and have a look at the forward cockpit area first. So each one of these little cargo container areas is um, connected all up, and they're connected between modules with the conveyors and the little things that split out parts, because you can't actually share items. So we're in the observation room, We've got the different decks here. We've got a lower observation deck as well. And we've got the upper one with a few cockpits on. And then if we head through here, we have the next little area. Now this is the main cockpit area. We've got these little displays that I'm gonna pretend that there's numbers and things going on, little diagrams coming up, should be pretty cool. And the gravity just happens to run out here. That's a little bit annoying. But anywhere past here is pretty damn fine. So that is the upper deck. So these are all collected in modules, so as we go through, we're, we're basically going through different individual modules and we could simply, if there's a problem, maybe that part's damaged, we could just access it here and detach the module from the door itself. So if the cockpit is the thing to go, that, that would be very good because you'd have to have some sort of backup cockpit. Right, now we're heading down into the lower deck, so we'll head forward first. So we've got more cargo areas because this is mainly a cargo transport ship. And then we have the front cargo area here itself. We've also got access to other sort of connector areas. So another ship can technically connect up to us. Or we can even attach or detach a module. Depending on what we need. Say we go in some long haulage trip. And we need a, like 10 or 11 massive cargo containers filled with all. We can do that as well. So we'll head on through here to the back area. Now we've got left and right. Each area is the same. And that is just another module connector. So you can see that takes us out to here. And we could just disconnect these two engines, have a single engine connected to here and have a really simple rocket sort of ship shape. Now we'll head up here and we're entering the first engine bay. So this is the large engine bay. We've got the connectors up here. Do you see there's some connectors not connected? These are so what I can do at a later date is I can change these around, add a different reactor, change things up just in case I need to do that. Even though it's modular design, you need space for improvements. So we're in another cargo bay and then finally we head to the actual rear engine bay. So these engine bays, the little mini ones are like little caps, the little caps you can stick on. And inside there we just have a whole variety of engines and enough power to hold it. So we'll head on out and we'll have to go back through here, drop down, there we go. 
and back through here. So it's it's quite a simple design and I just really like the idea of having the ability just to add take away, add take away. So what I'm going to do is head up to the cockpit and do what you guys all want me to do is probably fly it over there and then disconnect all the modules at once and see what exactly happens. But I'm going to stick this up on the workshop anyhow and you can basically just stick a bits together and I want to see what sort of ships you guys come up with see if you get some any interesting sort of designs so we'll just cut a hole in the glass because I can't be bothered going back through and we climb through here and we're inside so we've got a big ship here we are connected to the deck by landing gears so we don't have to actually remove them first before we take off so this is just the area where you can actually place the first blocks and get your ship off the ground and keep it stable as well because there's nothing worse than the ship starting to float away as you're building so we'll head up. There is some damage in the connectors, but it's nothing too severe that's going to really help cripple your ship. So we've got this area here, and we're just going to begin our flight. So we're leaving the pad. Just, gonna adjust a little bit over here. It handles pretty well, to be honest. I was expecting something a little less. I mean, it's not a pretty ship. I'm not going to expect a pretty ship from things that you've just stuck together. But it works, and I think that's what's quite important about it. Right, anyway, let's disconnect all these modules. So, reactivate that, turn inertia dampers off, and here we go. This is the, this is going to be interesting, right? Look at all these merge blocks we've got to turn off. And all the way up to there. Now, this is going to be funny. Right, off. Okay, a little bit of lag. Oh, I'm worried already. Okay, every everything is detached now. Okay, let's see what exactly happened. So we've cut engines of the main cockpit. We've got a lot of lag. Yeah, I can feel the lag. It's horrible. I'm guessing it's going to come apart like a space shuttle mission. Oh, everything's coming apart. So this is this is what you wouldn't do anyway. You wouldn't just decide to. Um, mid-flight disconnect every single module from your spaceship so the engine bays are already gone off the back and then this is just dis this is <laughs> oh fuck if someone if you if you're attacking another ship or something or traveling past and you know somebody accidentally hit that button and your ship comes apart like this that would be absolutely horrible at least you could reassemble it technically oh that looks so cool how all the other parts are just floating away behind us Oh, that's awesome. That is true modularization. Cool. <laughs> oh, there's some serious damage over there, though. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I just thought I'd show you um, one of my little modular ship designs. I'm going to try some smaller ships in this sort of format. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.